Hi everyone, welcome back and particular thanks to the Patreon supporters for making this happen or getting me out here to do this. Don't say I'm not committed, I am out doing baseline calibrations for aero testing. Now if you've seen my wheel videos, uh, wheel reviews, you know how in depth they are basically on the kind of static mechanics of the wheel. Um, but I never comment on the aero performance of wheels because I haven't had any means to test them until now. Uh, thanks to Aerolab Tech from Canada for getting on board with this. Um, you can't trust wind tunnel data from marketing departments with wheel sets for two reasons basically, wind tunnel and marketing department. So the only way to do aero tests, reliable aero tests, is outdoor testing in the wild and do it yourself. You don't even need an aero sensor to do kind of aero testing. You just need a really rigid structure protocol to stick to. Something like the Chung method works really well, but having all the sensors on board, this makes life a lot easier. Now, why am I out here in the pitch black uh, under the stars with a bit of moonlight? Where's it gone? It's behind that really thick cloud over there. Um, I'm just trying to get a feel for how good this aero sensor is in really blustery conditions. As you can see from the grass here, I've got basically a 90 degree um, true wind angle, so I've got crosswinds both ways on this test strip, which is a kilometre long uh, each way, so it's a two kilometre lap, really reliable conditions, very good asphalt, really smooth and no traffic, uh, but I have got very blustery crosswind coming through uh, these fields, so how well does this work affecting that kind of apparent wind angle, and how good is it in transient wind conditions, because that's what you want to replicate in a wind tunnel, um, but really calm, so that's why we do outdoor conditions, but can this measure it? Um, I'm not doing the wheel testing just yet, I'm try trying to get a load of baseline data to see how consistent the CDA figures are for the same setup. Once the CDA figures for the same setup, so same clothing, same bike, same position, riding on the hoods, once they start to get consistent in different wind conditions, then I'll start chopping out wheels, changing kit, changing helmets, but majority of the time I'm going to be doing wheels, so shallow wheels, really deep wheels, I'm going to get the kind of boundaries. I think when you're testing something like this, it's good to start at two ends of the um, spectrum and then narrow it down until you find basically your resolution of the sensor. I'm sorry about the wind noise, I hope you can hear me over this. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the start of a load of wheel testing and error testing to come. And uh, thanks to Aerolab Tech and thanks to people who are getting on board with the Patreon stuff because it actually kind of makes this worthwhile. So cheers, see you in the next one.